Hi guys, um, I am on to do a mixed media mashup um, using these cards that um, Karen made for me. The idea originally came from Pink Poodle Crafts and she made a sheet for us to print off and use as prompt cards. And um, Karen was nice enough, Karen McClure was nice enough to make me some and laminate them for me so I'm really grateful for that and I've not used them yet so I thought I'd come on and do an art journal page and um, give this a go so I'm going to do a 30 minute session I think so I'm just going to set my timer on my phone for 30 minutes and I will just grab some cards and see how we get on. Um, I don't know if I have every single thing at hand, so I may need to pause the video, go find some, well, pause the timer, pause my video, and uh, go find the stuff and then come back. But um, I'm hoping it's only going to be roughly half an hour. So, um, timer, timer, timer. Where is the actual timer? That's a stop clock. There we go. So we want a 30 minute. Alright. I'm just setting this for 30 minutes. Okay, I don't know how well you'll see it. Uh, Alright, you're not going to see it. Hang on. Maybe if I bring my brightness down a bit, you should be able to see the timer. Can you see? 30 minutes. Alright, so I will link um, Pink Stacy um, video for these cards and, and the iCAD up there as well. If you just click the little I and Karen's um, channel as well, just go and give them a like a sub, uh, and a sub. So here goes, guys. So we start, and the first card I'm really nervous because I've not done this before. <laughs> The first card is De-Stress and I have got this background um, at the moment um, because I thought I would start off just, you know, I thought I would just start off and with a background so it didn't take as long so I'm just going to use some Distress inks I think just to go around it here and there um, just to distress it a bit. So, and the background itself is just watercolour sprays. Well, water sprays that I had made. Um, colour sprays that I've made, homemade, and um, just some inks and stuff like that. So. So I'm just going over it with some Distress Ink, which was given to me in Happy Mail, which I'm really grateful for and I think will stick roughly with the blue and green um, thing. I kind of want the edges to be distressed as well so it kind of gives it a border right so that's that so we'll choose the next card which is ink and I've just basically used ink but what I'll do is I'll just um, some black ink, I think, round the edges just to make sure it is really bordered properly. So the aim is, is to do as many cards as I can in 30 minutes and I think you're allowed to skip I think it's up to five times. I should have really checked the rules again when I was but I think you can skip up to five cards I think because I did watch someone else 
do this and they skipped five cards so so there we go this is it so far very distressed looking um next card is acrylic paints so i've got them beside me And I, I do think I'll kind of stick with the blue and green kind of theme, but chuck in a few more colours in with that. And I've got a feeling this is all going to collapse on me, but we'll see. So this one hasn't even opened yet. So, oops, <laughs> it's like went all over my hand. So I'm reckoning that I'm just going to use the same sponge for everything really, so I don't need to keep using all different sponges, so. Some brown paint. Some green. I'll just open that one up. I'll just kind of dab that here and there as well. Like so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and stick with the same colour frames, but it doesn't mean to say that it's going to all be like this, because I might change as I go. But I'm liking the fact that it's kind of like a grungy background at the moment. It needs a wee bit more up here, and some down here, because um, I do like grunge as well. So I like the fact that it's going a bit grungy. Okay, so that's good. What we are? Twenty-five minutes left. That's good. And the next card is add words or quotes. Um, so I need to actually look for words um, at the minute. So I'll pause the timer. How do I pause it again? I don't even know how you pause it. Hmm. This is a new phone, so I'm kind of struggling to find out how you pause. Ah, 24 40. We're at there. 24 minutes 40 seconds, so I'll need to start the timer again. Um, when I come on, we're at 24 40. So I will reset it. I don't know how to pause the timer, which is kind of bad, but we were definitely at 24.40. Um, so I'll leave it at that and I'll start, the, I'll start it again when I come back. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some words. Okay guys, I'm going to start the timer again. I have got a random um, thingy of words here. And um, yeah, so I'll be starting my timer now. So we're at 24. Uh, these probably aren't all the words, but at least it's a few words. And I have got um, some little images in amongst us as well. So you know what, it just says words and images, it doesn't need to say exactly what it should be. So I've got a star, you know, star signs here, and I'm actually going to put that on, because it's words, so I'm just going to add that to my page. And obviously it's not a star sign for exactly today, well it is my star sign but it may not be the proper star sign for today but you know I like it so I'm just going to put it in and it says don't be afraid to accept praise and that is one thing that I struggle with. You've worked hard for your success but you're 
Being so busy trying to please others that you've forgotten it's you who started this journey in the first place. Talk with Aries and move the goalpost. And um, I chose to keep that because it's totally me. I do try to um, please people and um, one of my best friends is an Aries and when I talk to them it really helps me get back in focus when I'm feeling a bit as if I'm straying a bit. So yeah, that is why I added that because I really like that. And the next one is add paper. Now I don't have a lot of paper beside me so um, I will just add um, I don't know, I don't know what to add guys because like Show me this. I've got this lovely um, paper here that I got at the shop earlier. I'm going to just add a doily. Is that paper? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to add a doily on there because that is paper. So I'm going to add that. Um, I need, I need, I need, I need. So I'm going to need to use the big watery tub here if I can get it opened. So uh, hopefully I can get some stuff on this page and it's not, and that might have just been a bit too much but then again it is a big doily so it might not be. And I don't really want to add the whole doily on there because then it's going to hide all this nice background so I'm not sure what to do here. Hmm. Maybe just this circle here. Oh I just ripped it. Let me just add this. I could have just added a napkin, but uh, where's the fun in that? So I'm just gonna, and you probably notice that I'm not I'm not drying in between because like paint layers and stuff like that. Because um, I want it to be kind of distressed and grungy, so I, that's why I'm not adding stuff in between. Um, I'm just going to go over the whole page with the glue just to make sure it all gets stuck down and it will dry eventually anyway so there we go maybe I could put a wee bit of this on here as well I don't know though just a wee bit here and there right. And we're down to 19 minutes. Okay, right, next. Finger paint. Okay. Finger painting. Yay, fun. I like finger painting. So we will grab. I really need to get myself some decent paints, guys. My paint supply is not that great. I have got like um, ready mix paint but it's too thin and it's oh, it's not that great a paint so I'm just going to it's kind of hard because the glue on here is still wet and but still finger painting. I should have really dried it in between layers but I just don't want to go and stop the timer again and but I will if I need to you know if I really need to get it dried then I will um, do it. If I don't need to then I'm not going to do it. So let's see what have we got here a yellow that's not opening. <laughs> 
last one's not opened yet, but we will open it. Whoa! It's, that just went everywhere really. So I'm just going to try and put this in here as well. And just... The fun of this is you don't really plan, it's just random. You just go with the prompts and how you feel, you know. And you can take as much time as you need in between cards. Um, but if you want it to be a really good page, then you really need to get as many cards, through as many cards as you can. So, there we go, that's that. I'm just going to put that back into the cup. And what did I do with the lid, guys? Can you see it? Can you see it? Because I can. Aha, uh -huh, I see it now. Right, okay. And that's looking kind of cool. I'm kind of liking this. So the next card... Oh, finger paint, that needs to go there. The next card, I'm at 17 minutes. Coloured pencil. Oh. Right, I'm going to skip that because it's going to be a bit of a nightmare trying to draw on this with coloured pencil. Grab the first thing to your right, which is this, really. Or this, this is the first thing to my right, but I need to put something on it. Maybe I'll just... add some of this paint on here just to... Oh wow, this paint's not coming out. There we go. So I'll just kind of dot some of this on here as well. <sighs> Since the sponge really was the first thing in the right. And, uh, oh my god, guys, what a mess I'm making here. I don't want to kind of cover that up too much, but. Maybe add some paint on here just to blend it in a bit to the page. I really should zoom these in guys. Um, I'll try and zoom these in as best I can but sometimes it's hard because um, it goes out of focus. But I'll try and zoom these in as much as I can. Okay, so let's hope the next one gives me something else to glue on because it looks kind of a bit plain and boring at the moment let's see what else we've got collage or decoupage ephemera and I, I don't even think that's how you see it but oh well right um so that usually means napkins, and I know I've got napkin at hand somewhere. Um, there we go, there's one here. But it's a bit fidgety, so... Oh no, it's alright, it's actually okay. So we will clean this off, open the glue up again. Some more glue on here. Whoa, I'm kind of putting far too much glue on these, but let's hope that it still works. Um, and what are we at? 14 minutes left, guys. Oh, I don't want it to be just half, I want it to be like. Feel fairy. Alright, so I'm doing this the best I can, guys. It might not be the perfect, but I'm doing it as best I can. And my hands are pretty sticky, so it's. Oops, that'll do. Right, just put this on here, stick it down, and I should have spread that out a bit better because I don't think it's going to really... No, it's starting to rip. Damn! 
damn 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 maybe I could take this off and start again because that just was a complete disaster uh, look at it man it's a mess right I need to kind of bend this bit and I'll just I'll just stick this bit on it's not perfect but I'll just put it on I kind of wanted a whole um, head and body on there but it ain't working that way so I really shouldn't have took that other stuff off but it was just far too messy for me so that was why I took it off and it would have just ruined the whole page and I would have had to have like stopped the video and no bothered with it because I don't, I don't mind messy, but I don't like too messy. So hopefully that looks all right when it dries properly. Okay, so that's that. Um, you know what? It's, de it's about decoupage in it, so I think. Yeah, I'm going to stick her on there as well. It's about, de it, it is decoupage and, and putting a magazine image on there is decoupage, so I'm going to put that on and uh, hope for the best. It's still classed as decoupage, so. And I'm going to try and put some on the back of her as well. And that way that will stick better. I just really like this image. I don't know why, I just I think it looks cool. So that's why I'm using it. And I really need something big on this page, I think anyway. 10 minutes left guys but it's fun so far, I'm liking it, um, I'm enjoying this so let's see, we will put her here and yes I will probably need to go over it again with some glue because it's not perfect but we'll see, so I'll probably need to glue her down Properly. This kind of reminds me a bit of journaling by fives, um, because you're kind of rushing and trying to get through it. So it kind of, yeah, kind of is reminding me a bit of like journaling by fives, but it's not too stressful because if I really wanted to, I could extend the time. So it's not too stressful and I think she looks great there. She's a bit wrinkly but I'm not too fussed about that. In fact, you know what, I could just use these cards to try and straighten it out a little bit. As long as she doesn't rip, I'm not too fussed about her being a bit wrinkly. So the next step is markers or pens. So what I'm going to do guys is I've got, I'll show you now, I have nine minutes left and uh, I know you can't see it that well but I've got nine minutes 13 so I'm going to cancel that. Well it was actually nine minutes so I'm there. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to give a go and put, I'm going to pause the video, give this a quick dry and um, then we'll, we'll go into the markers. Um, so I'll set the alarm back when I get back. It should really have a pause button but it doesn't so I'll be right back guys and yes our face is just a bit grungy but that's okay because it just it ties in with the, the grunge look which I like so I'll be right back guys because I really need to dry this because I don't want to ruin my markers so I'll be back in a few. 
Okay guys, just give me a wee sec just to set it back to 9 minutes and 11 seconds. Just to prove there we go, 9 minutes 11 seconds start. Right. I don't think this is completely dry, I think the glue underneath is quite thick still. Um, but it'll do, I suppose, and I really should have checked to make sure it was all glued down. So I'm just going to go around her and um, try and outline her as best I can. Um, I'm not using permanent markers here, this is just bingo markers. I think that's what they are anyway. They're just cheap pens but I just wasn't wanting to completely ruin them before I got a chance to properly use them so that's why I wanted to dry this off as best I could and see there we go it's, I'm hitting bits that are still wet and the markers are still working see what I mean it's kind of frustrating guys because there's bits that are still wet and it's going to ruin my markers but I'll just keep going and see, try and get just the dry bits. Um. Just try and get this as quick as I can. But as I say, not every single bit's going to be outlined because there's still bits that are quite wet. But I just need to put up with that and. I don't know whether I want to outline the the box, but you know what, I may as well. I should outline it with blue though. There we go. So that's our outlines. Um, so that's the the. F Markers done, markers and pens done. Right, since that one does, so move that over there. The next one is water soluble cranes or markers. Um, I don't know here because I don't really have a lot of my water solubles at hand. Um, I do have some ink tins, so I suppose I could use some of that, but I just don't know what. Maybe a love heart. Um, a couple of love hearts, maybe. Can't go wrong with some love hearts, can you? So, just a couple of love hearts here and there. The only thing is, <laughs> is I've not got anything to activate it. <laughs> I've not really got any brushes at hand. Oh wait, I have. Wait, wait, wait. But has it got enough water in it though? Yep, here we go. So we'll just do this, activate this as best I can, and then um, use that. I know it's not really a crayon, but it is sort of a crayon. It's water soluble, that's all it that matters, and that's uh, so all that really matters is the fact that it's water soluble. So there we go, some hearts here and there, they're not exactly looking like hearts, but they'll do. I'm not the best, but they'll do, I suppose. I'm just going to go over that just to make sure that it turns out okay. There we go. So there we go with a couple of solid water solubles. Hearts. Purple hearts. Because I had to get purple in there some way, didn't I? And I'm just gonna. I know this is gonna probably look stupid, but I kind of want to 
go round and outline the bits that I couldn't outline. Just to give her a bit more of a... Outline here. Alright. Just adding a bit more on interest in here just to I don't know what I'm doing guys, I'm just playing really. kind of try to add some more colour onto that. Three minutes left guys, oh no! Right, what have we got next? Add gesso. Oh no, where is my gesso? <sighs> I do have gesso somewhere but I'm just not sure where. I'm running out of time guys. I don't know where my gesso is. I seen it here the other day and I just don't know what I've done with it. Alright, we'll skip that because I don't know. Add tape. I've got tape here somewhere. Tape, 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 Help! Oh, I can't find the end, guys, so I'll just need to put on some of this tape if I can find the end in this one, though. Yep. Can't find the end in my other tape. And I don't know where all my tape is. I like my other tapes. Oh, um, maybe if I just put this here, like that, and uh, I'm just trying to add random pieces on. Oh, I'm trying to go as quick as I can, we've only got one minute left guys, oh no. One minute left. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to do another card. Watercolour, no. We don't, I don't think anyway, watercolour. This would be classed as watercolour, wouldn't it? So. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I had, uh, damn. I got um, this. This can go on. Oh, 56 seconds. I had gelatos, so I can use some gelatos on here. Although the purple's kind of taking over, but. I'm just going to try and put some gelatos on her face as best I can and. I'll wipe this off here because I don't want purple on her face and just okay. ah, try to do this as quick as I can now because it's like the time's running out uh, and we're done. <laughs> ah, I think it looks quite cool though. Okay. Right, so that's it. The page is done. Um, <laughs> that was a bit of a mad rush, but I do quite like it. It's, it turned out not bad actually, and I definitely think I will be using these cards again. Um, 
and I wrote a skip to, didn't I? Um, I skip to, and let's see, so I'll take two away. Alright, even though it's not the ones I skip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I managed to do twelve cards. And uh, I'm going to zoom these back out again so you can see the page. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. But it was just like, oh my god, it was like a mad rush to get it done. But I like it. Um, so here it is, guys. Here is the finished page. And uh, I do quite like it. You know, but I thought I would have had like maybe pick some cards that I could add added some embellishments and stuff but to be honest with you I quite like it the way it is um, without the embellishments um, I do quite like it it's really cool I just love that picture though um, I don't know what it is it's just it just looks really cool um, but there you go guys um, this is my finished page and as I say, I do quite like it. And thank you, Stacey, for um, providing us with the the cards, the you know the sheet for the cards. And thanks again, Karen, for making me these. Um, I really appreciate it, and I really do like the way it turned out, guys. I'm really happy with it. And usually, when I do an art journal page, I go back and I play. But I don't know if this really needs any more playtime on it. Um, because I do like it. Did I say I liked it? Did, you, no, did I say that I liked it? I can't remember now. Did I say I liked it? <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. And I'm quite happy. And as I say, her face is really grungy, but I like that. Um, usually I'm like, oh my god, I've ruined her face. I'm, but I think it, like, really ties in with the page. Um, the page is really grungy and yeah so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope that um, it inspired you to maybe check out Stacey's um, channel and check out her stuff where you, um, she'll provide you with the place to get these I think you need to email her and she'll email you the link to download the prompts so you can make your own prompt cards or you could just if you haven't got a print you could just write them out on uh, some ATCs or something like that or just some stick it um, post it notes and then fold them up and put them in a box or something like that you know, so you could do that as well but anyway guys I'm going to go now and uh, I'll speak to you soon as I say I hope you've enjoyed it and look at my hands you can tell I've had fun, can't you? Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm planning on doing a lot more of these um, in the future. So, keep your eyes peeled for that because I did like it that much that I really want to do more. Um, so, every time I do one, I'll film it. Um, but... If I really want to do another one tonight, then obviously I'll film it, but not upload it, and I'll upload that at another time. Um, but yeah, give it a try, guys. It's just really, really fun. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now, and much love. I'm not getting kisses today because my hands are kind of grubby, and I'm not because my hands don't kisses. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye.